The objective of this lesson is to teach you how to use formatting to visualize your data better. And in this case, whenever you're comparing two columns, for example, you could use this methodology where you get a red dot whenever sales is less than budget and a green dot whenever sales is bigger or equal than budget. And then you have those two arrows here. So let's do it. I'm going to show you a couple of methodologies and you will tell me which one you prefer the most. So let's start. I'm going to show you first one methodology and then the dot. First of all, we write an if statement here. If sales less than budget, then I want minus one, otherwise nothing, which is those two quotation marks that you have, double quotation marks. Then I can drag this, as you can see. So I get minus one for the cases where sales is lower than budget. Next, I can do if sales bigger or equal than budget, then I want a one, otherwise nothing, two double quotation marks, and then I drag my formula and I get one for cases where sales is bigger or equal than budget. Next, I need to apply conditional formatting. So you can do it in one go, but I'm gonna do it for each column to make it simpler for you. So I go to home, conditional formatting, new rule. Then I select format only cells that contain. Then between, instead of between, you select equal to, and then you do minus one, and you select a format. So if I select the red format, and I don't select the red format for my font, this is what will happen. You'll still see the minus one and I don't want this. So I go to font and I select the same red and you say, okay, and then you get red and the minus ones are hidden. So now I do the same for the green, new rule. I select this equal to one this time, format, fill, I select the green and for font, I'm gonna select the green. And I say, okay, and there you go. Now you make this a bit smaller to give it a nice touch. Next, what you miss is those two arrows here, right? So we merge the cell by clicking here under home, merge and center. And then we add some grid lines. So I'm gonna check for outside borders. And then here I need another one. So it looks good like this. Next, I need those arrows. The trick I'm going to show you is the following. So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to go to this site, which is getemoji.com. So this is the site. Then you write here arrow. It has a lot of emojis and icons here. So you have down arrow and up arrow and left, etc. So I click on down arrow. I can copy it here. I go back to my Excel sheet. I click here, right click, and then I do paste. So now I have an arrow, right? Next, I need the other arrow. So let's go to emoji and let's go back. And here I'm gonna find maybe the up arrow. Yeah, here it is. I click on it again. I can copy it. I go back to my Excel. I click here next to it and then I paste it. Now I have my two arrows. So what I'm gonna do is I want to color them. So I select my first arrow and then it's like a font, so you color it in red. Then you select your second arrow, you color it in green. So here you go. And this is how you represent it. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the dots. So how do you do this? First thing you do, you go here and you do insert, symbol, symbol, and you search for something that you like. So this is the dot, I'm gonna say insert. So this is my dot. What I could do here is, equal if you do a logical test sales smaller than budget what is the value if it's true you check this cell and then you do f4 so when you drag the formula you don't have problems and then nothing if it's not lower than budget then you drag it as simple as that next you will do the same in column m if sales bigger or equal than budget we want the dot otherwise nothing and for the dot you press f4 then you close the parenthesis and you drag the formula to make it nice i can also come here and say okay i want those dots to be here 
Next, I need to color them. So I select my range. I color them in red. I select my range. I color them in green. Then I need to make my cells smaller. So I make them smaller. And then I need to have this. So this I can just copy paste now. Obviously, if you didn't have it, you can do the same. Let's hide this, hide. And then let's create some outside borders. And there you go. So as you can see, now you have represented your data visually.